start with the first question of the day in the first question it is very interesting that the answer of the question in the first question is the answer of the first question is not there in the question not there in the image it is actually hidden on the side of the image so let's see look at this image I, I hope all of you are able to see this yes okay now please see this image and tell me what is the most significant piece of information in this image what do they say day three so whatever the illness is in this picture we are at the day three of illness <clears throat> why not day one why not day one because in a patient with always remember in a patient with acute pancreatitis CT should be done after 72 hours to look for severity CT should be done after 72 hours to look for severity I may ask you a question why not immediately why not immediately because then it is difficult to differentiate between edema and necrosis if you do it too early the edema part confuses you and you're not able to find out what is edema what is necrosis by 72 hours by three days edema settles down and you are able to find out am i looking at edema or necrosis are you clear okay first question so look at the table that i'm trying to show you here there are two type of pancreatitis interstitial necrotizing in interstitial pancreatitis if you see a fluid collection more than four weeks what will you call it pseudocyst in necrotizing pancreatitis in necrotizing pancreatitis if you see a fluid collection more than four weeks it is called as walled of necrosis are you clear with this much okay now this is the overview I wanted you to have now what I want you to do is I want you to look at the choices in this question there are two choices pseudocyst and walled of necrosis everybody look at it and tell me these two choices are seen after four weeks what is the day of the disease in this question day three so what should I do this is not the answer this is not the answer what should I do rule out and this is the key word of MCQ exams what I have learned is most good students most good students many of them who are very very good students now these are the students who are very good at college always doing good in the college exams but sometimes I find them struggling in the MCQ exam because they are assuming that they should know the answer if this is a question I should know the answer while toppers are saying even if I don't know the answer I will I will rule out the key word is rule out now why is this ruling out so important I will give you a mathematics please see if there are four choices what is the probability of getting the answer right anybody 25% the probability of getting answer right is 25% if I rule out one 33% very good very very good mathematics okay now tell me if I rule out two choices 50% is the probability of getting it right this 50% is the probability that you took when you were crossing the road today to reach to your class remember 50% the driver who is driving a car towards you has eyes is able to see you you are able to see him cross 50% 50, 50 probability is always taken you know we are always taking it but sometimes some students become afraid in the day of the exam and they say no no let me leave this question my question to you is if you leave this question now after ruling out two choices after knowing about pancreatitis you know this if you leave this now how much what marks will you score you will get zero it's very important realization if you leave the question there is no score you get tell me zero okay now in India the exams are scored like this reward plus four if you leave it zero 
if you get it wrong penalty anybody minus one these are the kind of numbers which favor the brave I don't say that you will do inky pinky ponky and do a guesswork. No, no. There is no role for guesswork. But there is a definite role for ruling out. Now try to understand what I am trying to say. Because if I get it right, I get 4 marks. If I get it wrong, they are only deducting 1 mark. Let's see. Let's try to solve. Now once you see these choices, what is it that you have ruled out? 2 choices. Probability of getting it right? 50% should I go for 0 or should I try for plus 4 let's think over it let's think over it with this image is this a contrast CT or a plain CT how do you know this is contrast CT tell me this is liver spleen iota now this is the diseased organ what is this pancreas this is a CCT contrast enhanced CT now let me ask you a question any one of you can look at this image and tell me this part of the pancreas is it enhancing or non-enhancing this is not taking up the dye this is non-enhancing there is no uptake of dye in this parenchyma to help you I will show you the normal again this is what we had studied in our classes if you can recall all of you what do you see here pancreas 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 now see the parenchyma a normal viable parenchyma should look like this this is how it should look like clear everybody absorb this normal okay now compare it with this if I see it like this after 72 hours when the edema has reduced still the parenchyma is non enhancing totally non enhancing is this necrosis or is this edema what do you think necrosis what type of pancreatitis is this necrotizing I am not sure what to do but still I want to get plus 4 what will I mark acute necrotic collection you will mark the answer as acute necrotic collection now please tell me how many of you got it right raise your hand okay how many of you got it wrong okay how many of you did not attempt okay that's okay no problems so even if you have not attempted the paper try attempting with me when I am asking the question, think of your answer and mark it and then when I come to the answer, at least you will have the correct answer. The important thing is to make mistakes. If you make mistakes, then you learn and you never miss repeat that mistake. If you make one mistake, you will never repeat it again. That is the key. I will show you one more picture. This time I want you to see the comparison. Okay. All of you please see with me. What is the structure? Liver. What is the structure? Gallbladder. Very good. What is this? Right kidney, left kidney, aorta, IVC. I am zooming in. This is a contrast enhanced CT in a patient with pancreatitis. I want you to compare this area with this area. I want you to compare these two areas. Anyone? The part that is marked by the red arrow is enhancing, that is viable. And the part which is marked by the white arrow, what do you think? Non-enhancing necrosis. So can you see that there is a percentage of pancreas which is viable and percentage of pancreas which is necrotic. So as a radiologist, when we talk about severity, we measure the percentage of parenchyma which, has, which is showing necrosis. Are you clear? Okay. So what do we measure in severity? we assess something which is called as let me explain to you modified CT severity index what is the first parameter that we measure anybody percentage of necrosis then we look for inflammation in form of fluid collections and we also look for extra pancreatic complications are you able to revise all this can you mark it now what are the component of modified CT severity index in acute pancreatitis amount of necrosis amount of inflammation and extra pancreatic complications are you able to answer this okay 
कैन यू नेम सम एक्स्ट्रा पैंक्रियाटिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ पैंक्रियाटाइटिस कैन यू नेम नेम सम ऑफ देम असाइटिस plural effusion and anybody else knows this extra pancreatic complication the no x-ray sign complication vascular complication vascular complications like portal vein thrombosis splenic artery pseudo aneurysm formation so all this is possible that you know <coughs> behind the pancreas you have portal vein so pancreatitis can lead to portal vein thrombosis can lead to uh, splenic artery aneurysm ascites pleural effusion all these are called as extra pancreatic complications now once you are clear what i will do is to help you i will show you a image so that you understand what we are really doing in radiology please see with me beta everybody i want all of you to look at this area i want all of you to look at this area and tell me what is it what area is this and what is it showing this is morrison's pouch very good this is hepato renal pouch what do you see in it it is distended with fluid that means there is fluid in the peritoneal cavity so do you think this patient with necrotizing pancreatitis do you think this patient has some extra pancreatic complication yes which one ascites this is how we do the modified ct severity index are you clear okay i will give you one more image to solve i will give you one more image to solve okay identify the abnormality shown to you in the image anybody chronic calcific pancreatitis suppose i ask you a question what is the investigation of choice for chronic pancreatitis what will you mark you will say mrcp but if they say how will you improve the mrcp for chronic pancreatitis you will give the patient secretin mrcp with secretin is the investigation of choice now suppose you are giving the exam and they don't give this in the choice what is the second best answer for chronic pancreatitis second best answer for chronic pancreatitis is cct If they say, "What is the best investigation for chronic pancreatitis?" Endoscopic ultrasound. Best investigation for chronic pancreatitis: endoscopic ultrasound. Suppose they say a patient has autoimmune pancreatitis. Now try to imagine this is different from other causes. What are causes of pancreatitis? Alcoholism, gallstone disease. but here it is autoimmune what is autoimmune autoimmune means that our body is thinking that the parenchyma the pancreatic parenchyma is the enemy autoimmune and it is starting inflammation against the pancreas so chronically the body will keep causing inflammation in the pancreas slowly slowly the pancreas will become swollen but it will not be as necrotic as what you see in alcoholism this is not a acute event it is happening slowly slowly pancreas parenchyma becomes swollen and it looks like anybody can answer it looks like sausage so what do we call it sausage shaped pancreas autoimmune pancreatitis let me give you one more question i i will want you to wait i will ask the question then you have to answer don't wait for others to answer please answer your own self so that we are better prepared for our exam i want all of you to now look at the star marked area and see with me the star marked area is a fluid collection the question is where is the fluid collection in the image located where is the fluid collection in the image located it is behind the stomach medial to the spleen this must be the lesser sac are you clear now when you will be giving this paper you will find in further questions one more question asking you anatomical compartment did you see that question did you see that question okay then we will reach there i will tell you more compartments and then we will realize how to differentiate between this and that question okay are you clear where is the fluid collection 
लेसर सैक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड एनी टाइम